I just went to create up here to create a new thing link. It's a presentation type website. And what I'm going to do is I've already um, started my own um, thing link, but if you wanted to create yours, um, you start with like an image, you can upload, use a web address, use Facebook or Flickr, and you just take like an image. Like if I were using this um, chicken image, I would just copy and paste the link to it. I put it in here and then it would, um, then I would click tag this media and it would take me to um, over here. So you have your title up here. You can do like life cycle of a chicken. So that's your title. You can search for content up here. So, you know, if you do like chicken hatching, you can see, you know, they have like YouTube videos, I guess you can even do like music with it um, or links, um, YouTube videos, links, music, pictures. But I think I'm just going to use the links that I found. So the one I already have right here is a video on how to make an egg incubator at home. So I already have that. And then I found this cool video of like a chicken hatching from an egg. So I think I want to include that into my thing link. So I can put it right here showing sort of like um, the egg going to the chick. And then I can put the image just right there and it shows up. It can be um, chick hatching from egg. You can see you need some, um, you need to upgrade to use some of the services, but you can use most of the services with a free account. Then you just save the tag and then it's right there. You know, with my chicken image, you can copy and paste that as well. Just put it on the chicken right there and then it pops up and say this is a picture of a full grown chicken. You can save that tag and the settings you can see um, it can be unlisted because you can search for um, other thing links if you want to. And um, you can do like, you can allow someone else to edit as like a group project advanced you need to upgrade for. But basic, you can um, have it unlisted so people can't search for your thing link. If you have like privacy issues or like, you know, you include students' pictures in here, then you might want it unlisted. Or if you want like a group project, you can allow anyone to edit it. Okay, and so yeah, you can add like music if you want to. Again, you can um, have that from a link. It looks like they support SoundCloud links for music. Or you could just come uh, take it from like a YouTube video or use um, their search engine. For now, I'm just going to save it. And then um, to full screen it, you need to pay for that service. I don't think it costs that much. I'm not sure though. Um, here you can see like related images. Um, yeah, but if you just look over here, you can see your images. Um, I also created the other day a, let's see, um, there it is, parts of a flower. When I was playing around with it, so you know, you just have like a random image of a sunflower. So, you know, these, this part of the flower is like where you can have like sunflower seeds. Um, you can tell students that this is a petal, what the leaves are used for, um, that the stem works like a straw. So it kind of, you know, helps them visualize like what the parts of the plants are used for. You can use it as like a teacher or as a student. They can do group work with it. They can create their own thing links. When I was in my fourth grade placement, um, they really loved using thing link as a way to present. And it kind of forces you to not use too much text because it's so image focused, which is nice. And then here's the search engine if you want to look at other people's thing links. So you can look at like the giver. You can see the public thing links for the giver. 
and you can look at other what other people did with the book like they just created sort of like a book report here probably done by a student so yeah and um, one other thing is you can put students into your group you can invite students with an with a code and then you can access all of their thing links from here so you don't need to have students logging in and out of their accounts you can just have it as like you're the teacher as you can see you can set it up as you're the teacher and then have your students join your group so you can just like show their thing links and it's an easy way for them to access their thing links if they're presenting in class so yeah that is how you use thing length I'm sure there is more you can do if you have the full version but this is the free version